Hello and welcome to the new Power Query tutorial video and in this video I will show you how you can perform an aggregation based on the requirement like you want the sum of the column, you want uh, minimum value, maximum values, statistical measures like uh, standard deviation, median and all of that is something which I will show you how you can easily do it in Power Query by creating a new column. Before that, an important information, if you have landed very first time on my channel, then you should know about this data, this Google Sheet for which the link is present in description. What I have is basically a video title of all of my videos as I have posted more than 280 videos. So searching on YouTube becomes really difficult about all the different topics that I have posted. So that's why I've created this sheet. You can come here pressing Ctrl F, you can search any of my video related to let's say DAX. So all of the videos related to the DAX will be highlighted as you can see and you can get the out and you can jump onto the link which is present in here column B and view that video. Similarly, if you want to view it by difficulty level or topic category, which I'm still populating, you can even do that. So more and more I will do it. Also, if you have any recommendation, feel free to tell me and I will uh, help you in your, your Power BI journey. With that, uh, another, another option or another thing is about the data set which I'm using, which is this one. So usually I give the link of the data set folder for, and the you need to jump onto the Power BI folder so that you can come and, um, and see this information or get this details of data set. With that, coming back to the Power Query and uh, jumping quickly onto the quantity column, which is nothing but the quantity sold or quantity purchased by the customer. And let's say we want to apply a different type of operations. Like I said, minimum, maximum, sum, average, median, standard deviation. Then it becomes really uh, challenging because uh, you need to know all of this. But with the help of the transform menu, you have the statistical function over there. So first thing first you need to do is you need to right click and say duplicate column that way you are not messing up with your original column and from there you have a lot of options like for example i'll start with the sum so what it does is basically it uh, as you can see it is performing this operation 37873 right so what it has done is it has created a one single output right so that is also you should ideally know when you are dealing with this type of data that if you really need uh, some of this which I feel like in a very rare scenario you would need it make sure you duplicate this as well right in that way you are not messing up with the original uh, sheet but creating it over here right so if I come over here I can then come here and now within the transform menu I can come to statistic and say let's say I need a minimum value right so now what it is doing it is calculating the minimum so minimum is one right so if i come back and uh, and come over here on the quantity same way you have basically the different options now you have got the idea so i will not repeat it but you will you can get minimum maximum median average standard deviation count of values count of distinct value all of these very common operations which you would ideally need as part of the uh, as part of this uh, basically operation now this is about uh, how you would do it as part of the um, as part of this standard operation which is basically creating the sheet uh, the entire converting the entire sheet into one value many times it may happen that uh, you basically need to like I was saying you create a new column and then from this column basically you are looking for um, the sum minimum maximum and whatnot in that case basically what you need is you need to come over here and add columns which I will show you in my future videos but uh, you have the option of creating custom column or invoice in invoking the custom function that way you can perform an operation on the column by creating a new column and then get the desired output right so that is something which I wanted to show you first of all the standard way which is some many times I have not used it much but I just wanted to let you know this is good from the perspective of auditing of the values let's say uh, counting the values or counting the distinct values right 
those type of auditing features i find it uh, that we can do it but when it comes to really utilizing the sum or minimum or maximum that is something you know i would i don't know if how how many times you are going to use it but from an auditing perspective it is good just it is good to know that a functionality is present let's say if someone is asking in an interview or in a certification you know you should know that this functionality is available so with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic